With so many languages popping up everywhere, it's hard to decide if Ruby on Rails is still a good choice in 2022. So if you're just starting out with learning how to code or web development, or if you're leaning towards Ruby on Rails but you're not sure if it's a good choice, I hope this video will give you some answers. My name is Caesar, and I've been using Ruby since 2008 to build all sorts of web applications, from simple apps to full-blown multi-million dollar ones. And in this video, I'm going to share with you three reasons why I think Ruby on Rails is still your best bet in 2022. When you're getting started, there are so many unfamiliar concepts thrown at you that your biggest problem is remembering them all not to mention understanding what each one does. So learning a language that has fewer of those is preferred, but that doesn't mean Ruby is less powerful. It's just that it was designed with the developer's experience in mind. You have to realize that the big factors at play here are confidence and consistency. If you can stick around and keep learning long enough, you're guaranteed to win. So what Ruby gives you, and in my opinion, it does it better than other languages, is small wins very quickly, fewer unfamiliar concepts, and syntax that looks a lot like English. The second reason to learn Ruby on Rails is it holds your hand as you go through the process of learning how web development works. Namely, it's a collection of best practices and industry conventions baked in for you to use from day one. With web development, you can do the same thing in so many different ways, but Rails forces you to one tried and tested way that works best as a starting point. That means you can build perfectly good web applications even if you don't understand how everything fits together. You can figure that out later. That's how I learned Ruby. I started building web applications with Rails by copying what others have done and then slowly figured out how things work behind the scenes. Now, that might not be the best way of learning how to program, but it worked for me. This one is probably important to you if you're watching this video, but rest assured you can find plenty of jobs for both Ruby and Rails. And once you get good at building web applications, most of those skills are transferable to other languages like Python or JavaScript. So I wouldn't worry too much about this aspect What's important here is that you get productive as quickly as possible. And both Ruby and Rails will help you do just that. So I hope this helped. Bye.